The Solar Carnival offers an excellent opportunity for students to explore how solar cells work and apply that knowledge to hands-on projects in a fun and engaging way. The Carnival uses the small solar cells, motors, and wheels that are included in the Solar Schoolhouse solar cell sets. To start, students can learn about series and parallel wiring, the effect of shading on solar cells, and other solar electric principles as outlined in the Your Solar Home curriculum. After that, they can begin creating the Solar Carnival. To support teachers with this project, we've set up a resource page for educators. It includes a complete guide, a video of a prototype solar carnival, and tips from teachers who have already tried this project in their classrooms. There are 11 different carnival attractions shown in the Solar Carnival Guide, and there's plenty of room for students to develop more carnival rides using the basic principles shown. There's also a student page that includes the video for students to review for ideas as they build their rides. Individual project guides for the carnival rides outline the basic principles, but explicit step-by-step -step procedures are not included, so students are challenged to creatively figure things out for themselves. Also on the student page are more detailed guides for specific components, such as switches and motor mounts. Tips for building solar electric circuits and helpful fact sheets are included as well. These pages can be printed for students, downloaded as PDFs, or students can access the website directly. An easy way to set up the carnival space is to use a 4 by 8 foot sheet of plywood. This full sheet can be cut into four sections at the hardware store when purchased. Each resulting 2 by 4 foot section has room for about 8 rides, and the sections can be easily moved in and out of the classroom. This lets students work in class and use spotlights to test their circuits if there isn't enough indoor sunlight before taking the carnival outside into the full sun. If you have additional tools or access to maker lab equipment like laser cutters or 3D printers, this is a great opportunity to put those to use. At the end of the project, the motors, solar cells, and key ingredients can be recaptured for use in further projects. Some teachers encourage students to vote on themes for their carnival section. One school had a Disneyland themed section, a Vegas section, and a Candyland themed section, all devised by the students themselves. Solar carnivals work well with elementary through high school students. Middle school and higher grade students can explore how gears work when applying them to the Ferris wheel and carousels. There are several other associated learning possibilities when grouping solar projects together, such as exploring how shading from one ride affects the other rides. A great way to incorporate language and writing skills is to have students include a written description of their ride. Students can also research the history of the carnival ride they're building and include that in their write-up. The carnival can also be used as a catalyst to study other solar applications. The Solar Carnival offers an excellent opportunity for sharing with others at your school or your community through a culminating event where students display their work. The kinetic nature of the rides and attractions is a great conversation starter. The Solar Carnival fosters student creativity, can be done with a minimum amount of tools, and can use low-cost and recycled materials. It's also a great way to incorporate next-generation science standards.